One of my biggest fears while traveling, and I'm sure it's a fear most people have, is getting your stuff stolen. When you're far away from home, it's just that much more of a hassle when you have to deal with a lost passport or wallet. Today I'm going to tell you some common ways that thieves work, how they pick purses, and also tips on how to protect yourself. The bag that I will be demonstrating today is the Arden Cove Anti-Theft Waterproof Crossbody, and this will be on Indiegogo on October 10th. But even if you don't purchase this particular bag, I'm going to be sharing some features that you want to look for so that you can shop smartly for a travel bag. Scenario 1 is purse snatching. Simply put, they take your purse, yank it off your shoulder, off your lap, and they run away with it. They will target purses that are one shoulder and look for people who aren't holding on to their bag. So if they're just walking very loosely and the bag can just easily slip off the shoulder, they're going to grab it and go. I would suggest a crossbody because it's a little bit harder to pull off of you and you can walk hands free, um, but just in general, it's always safer to keep at least one hand on the bag and keep it in front of you when you're walking or sitting down. Just in general, this will help most of the scenarios that I'm going to go over today. A variation of this is to actually cut the strap of the purse and then run off with it. For this, they will target purses with a really thin leather strap. Something like a thicker strap or having a chain crossbody will be really useful because those are harder to cut, so the thief will likely go after someone else who is an easier target. Number two, dip and lift. This is basically when someone sticks their hand in your bag, takes something out, and you might not even notice it's gone until you're looking for it a couple hours later. This can happen pretty much anywhere where someone can get close enough to you without you noticing and it might surprise you how close people can get without you noticing them because they can be super quiet. This is also really common as a coordinated effort. So someone who might be standing in front of you, for example, when exiting a train, someone in front of you might suddenly stop and then you bump into them. And then someone behind you is already standing there waiting. So as soon as you bump into them, they stick their hand in your purse, grab something, and you don't even notice that they touched your bag because you have that physical contact right there. Obviously, the type of bag that's most susceptible to this kind of theft is an open top purse. Because it's already open, they don't have to unzip anything or unclip anything. Or if you just leave your purse open in general, that's also a problem. If you really, really, really have to have an open top purse, I would suggest one with a shorter strap so you could keep it pretty high and also keep your armpit closed so that you can have that physical contact and sort of close it with your arm. But even sometimes behind you, there might be a little gap, so be careful of that. Instead, I would suggest something that you can securely close. A zipper is nice, but they can also unzip purses, so be careful of that. I had a friend who had a purse with a turn lock and they did target her, so they will work a little bit harder if they think you won't notice. Something like these locking zippers are nice. It's basically a little lobster clasp on the end of the zipper, so when you close your bag and you feel like, hmm, it's a little bit crowded in here, I'm going to lock my bag, you can just open the clasp and then lock it onto this. And then when they try to open your zipper, it's stuck, they're not going to target you because that's going to take more effort. That's a higher risk for them. They're going to get caught, so they're not going to risk it. And they'll look for someone, again, who's an easier target. Number three, kicking the purse. Now these will typically target locations that are a little bit more busy, places where people are going to be distracted. So for example, at a restaurant. When you go to a restaurant, you'll set your bag down. Maybe you set it down on the chair next to you, behind you, or under your chair. If you put it under your chair, a thief will wait until you're distracted, and then when you're engrossed in a conversation or you're eating, they'll stand behind you and lightly kick the purse with their foot until it's far enough for them to just pick it up and go. So how do you prevent this? Whenever you set your bag down, you wanna put it somewhere where you can be aware of it. So if you put it behind you, make sure you're kind of sitting on it, it's touching your butt or your back. Or if you put it on the floor, make it touch your leg or between your legs so that you can feel it if someone tries to touch it. On this purse, the chain actually detaches so that you can wrap it around the table leg or the chair leg or the back of the chair clip it back on, and then if they try to yank it, it'll be stuck to the chair, 
and they'll give up really quickly. You can also DIY this with something like a carabiner where you wrap this chain around and just hook it with a carabiner and that will also be a little bit more secure. Number four, asking you a question or distracting you in some way. So in this scenario, there's two or three people working together and one of them will walk up to you and ask you a question like, what time is it? Or can you give me some directions? And once you're distracted, another person will run up to you, snatch your bag, and run away. The way to prevent this is pretty similar to what I've talked about before. Keep the bag in front of you, put a hand on it if it's set down, wrap it around something. The fifth one and the final one I'm going to be talking about is slashing your bag. This is when a thief straight up cuts into your bag and slips some items out. They will typically stand next to you or behind you and then discreetly have some sort of razor blade that they cut into the bottom of the bag or the side of the bag somewhere where you're not going to see them doing it. Again, of course, if you're aware of your bag and you have in front of you, this isn't going to be a problem, but sometimes it's hard to avoid. Maybe you're holding onto the bus rail or something like that. A way to combat that is to have a bag that has slash resistant material. Now there's a couple of bags on the market, so do your research. Some of the bags will only have slash resistant material on the bottom and then the rest of it is at risk. So do your research, figure out how much you wanna spend and what kind of security features you want, and then make your purchase. In this bag, we really wanted the whole body to be slash resistant, so even if they try going into the sides, they can't get in. And that is something that you don't see in all of the bags. When you're traveling, you might be caught in unexpected weather, and then you have your camera or electronics inside, you don't want it to get wet, so having something that is waterproof is also a bonus. For this bag, the body and the zipper is waterproof. So that's something to consider as well. I hope you found this video useful. This is not meant to scare you or deter you from traveling at all. I just really think that you should be informed and educated so that you can travel smartly. If you are interested in our anti-theft waterproof crossbody, we're going to be launching on Indiegogo on October 10th. So if you're watching before October 10th, please subscribe to our newsletter so you can stay informed. The early birds will get the best deals off of the bag, so you want to be the first ones in and get the best discounts, obviously. If you're watching on 1010 or after that, please check us out on our campaign page and please support us. Check out the description bar for links to the campaign and for more information. We really wanted to just create a beautiful, functional bag that protects your belongings from anything, thieves, weather, anything. So I hope you guys like it and I hope you'll check it out and give us your feedback. We'd love to hear what you think. Tell us what colors you want to see the bag in and stuff like that. I can't wait to see where you guys take this bag. It's so exciting and thanks so much for watching. Safe travels everyone. I'll see you guys next time.